Good morning, I'm Uldis from EF Engine. I decided to record this video to show you how to properly install Cisco CSR1000 V series router in the EF Engine. Under documentation and how to's, you will find all steps how to do it, how to add Cisco Cloud Services router CSR1000. Let's do it. The first, you have to obtain from Cisco installation media, ISO installation media. Go to Cisco software download, find, find your CSR which you want to install into EVE, and here, here it is. ISO, not OEA, ISO, guys, okay. I already downloaded it to my desktop, it's here, ISO, and let's go step by step. First step, SSH to your EVE and login as a root. Open SSH session. I'm using the CRT, but you can use putty. Putty. Okay. I mean, and I'm creating the temporary directory ABC where I will prepare CSR. Just a control C and paste here and go to that location ABC. So we are in location ABC, right? We just create a directory and we are in into it. Upload the downloaded ISO media to the EVE using FileZilla or Venus CP. I will use FileZilla. In the hostname, it will be your EVE management IP address 172.25.21. In my case, username is root. Password is EVE if you have not changed it before, and the port is 22. Quick connect. Okay, you can see that I'm in root, and below we can see that just create directory ABC. Just double on, double click on it to enter. On the left side, you can see ISO media which I downloaded before. So simply drag and drop on the right side and upload started. I'm going to pause. Upload completed, and you can see that we have ISO media in the ABC directory ABC. Next step, we have to create hard drive for our new image. I'm going to Control C, copy. Make sure that you are in ABC directory and paste. We just created our hard drive for our new CSR. Next step, this is pretty long line command line but we have to little bit edit it so control control uh, copy it from our web and you you have to be sure that this cd-rom image iso matching with your downloaded downloaded uploaded uploaded image into the eve uh, show a check ls you can you can see the content and i'm going to copy this name and replace in the line Actually, it is the same in my case, yeah, but it, you, must, you must be sure that it is matching your uploaded image. And issue and command. Press any key to continue. Okay? This is important point that you are pressing this hit any to continue and you are choosing the serial console. Serial console is important here because later when you will use this CSR image into the EVE, it will open sessions into the... Uh, tell, actually, it will open Telnet sessions to it, not, not some VNC, but Telnet. Okay. I choose I chosen serial console, hitting enter, and the installation starts. I'm going to pause. Installation completing, and actually that's why I recorded this video to show you very important point to be not missed here. It is step six. Once the prompt, uh, once the prompt, press any key to continue will appear. We are hitting any key and so you can see rebooting from hard drive now and let's wait until press any key prompt appears. Okay, I'm pressing any key and again I'm choosing serial console but do not hit enter after selected serial 
console. In the first time we did it, but not now. In a step six, it is important that you are choosing that, but do not hit enter anymore. Now, step seven. In step seven, I am pressing key combo, control A. F releasing and hit key C. Okay, so control A together, release and press C. We can see the new prompt of chemo appears, so I'm typing quit. Here we are. Okay, step seven is done. Now we have to create a new directory for our newly installed CSR. Copy this line, go to your notepad and make sure that your uh, newly created will match your version. Yeah, it's actually very, very important to the first part because it is sensitive and if it's reading that one part behind behind the hyphen it can be anything right but i prefer to use original names of the images so i'm putting this one behind of hyphen okay Control c I'm going back to cli paste done and uh, step nine we are moving our installed virtual image to the newly created image folder okay Again, make sure that you are moving it to correct one directory. That's that's here, right? Control V and copy and paste this command here. Well, uh, ten step ten. We are removing our temporary directory and fixing permissions. Control C and I'm just putting that one. Done. Our new image is created and we can go to the ta lab and add this image. You can see this is newly created CSR image, what we did. Okay, let's start. Once it, once it fully boot, will be booted, I, I'll be back. Our CSR is booted, let's check. Okay, enable show version. Yeah, here we are, and you can see the newly CSR is installed and ready for use. Thank you very much for viewing.